would be the bad now. My name has been chained to your mouth. Your pain running wild in my house. It's Friday. There we go. Let's get this going again. We're back on Friday this week. However, we might have to change up for next week. All right, as always, trivia will be starting shortly after 7 o'clock. If you need a bucket to play in tonight's game, go outside your house, find a bucket, bring it inside, and use that to play in tonight's trivia game. If you don't have a bucket outside your house, go get the little garbage can in the bathroom, bring that inside, and use that for tonight's trivia game. And trivia will be starting shortly after 7 o'clock. As I mentioned earlier, we're here today on a Friday, but next week we're going to have to do it on Wednesday. The week after that, we can do it on Wednesday or Friday. The week after that, we have to do it again on Wednesday. This is all assuming one thing. This is assuming that I don't get called in to work on Wednesdays. My uh, currently lined up Wednesday gig is still up in the air as far as when or if they're going to bring us back. So we're kind of waiting on them to make a decision. Once we know, then we know how to plan things. So this is how it's going to stand. I got to, I want to see if either we do all Wednesdays the rest of the month, assuming I'm not working Wednesday. If that's the case, then we'll do Tuesdays. Or if we want to jump back and forth, Wednesday, Friday, then Wednesday again. Or Tuesday, Friday, uh, Tuesday, Friday, then Tuesday again. It works either way for me. I will be here on those days. I just want to make it as consistent and as convenient as I can for everybody. So if you want to give me a comment on that, you know, go ahead and drop it in the comments here on Facebook. Do we want to do all all Wednesdays for the next three weeks or go back and forth? Either way, I got to do next Wednesday, not next Friday. And then also the last Friday of the month, I can't be here either. I got to do it on a Wednesday that week either. So there's going to be two out of three. So do all three on Wednesdays or do we move back and forth? Kevin in the house. All right, as I was saying earlier, we're doing today Friday. However, the next three weeks are going to be jumping back and forth. I have a gig. I have gigs coming up on two Fridays out of the three weeks coming up. We can either do this on Wednesdays, all three Wednesdays, Wednesday, Friday, Wednesday, or, and this is all assuming that we don't get called back by the bend. If we call it called back by the bend, then we can go to the bend. And we'll do this online thing on Tuesday on the weeks I can't do it on Friday or just do the Friday when I can. However, I do want to be consistent and keep this going every week. So just let me, drop me a comment if you think we should do the next three weeks all Wednesdays or Tuesdays or if we go back and forth we're already scheduled at this point to do it next Wednesday because I have a uh, DJ gig on Friday next week and I have one on the 30th yeah like, uh, like Kevin just put there every time I do this I get the entire game edit it you know take out all this intro beginning stuff but from when we start the intro song all the way to the end of the game it's all as is live Hey, look, it's Josh. Hold on, let me get my echo ready. Roll, boys, roll! Roll, roll! roll. (laughs) Josh, I don't want to name names of people who are on your team. But winning $300 in bar tabs in a uh, Little League team while you are a Major League player isn't much of an accomplishment. Just let them know that... uh, when we get Sandbar open again, you got to come back and play in the big leagues. Misfits in the house. All right, Chris is only available on Fridays. 
You know it's on YouTube, right? If I even if I do it in the middle of the week, we can do it on YouTube. You can watch it on YouTube on Friday with your friends. It's almost the same thing. Other than I won't react to your comments, so you don't can't write to me. But you can sit and play the game timed exactly the same way. Everything, like I said, from where the song starts, you know, the the Dave Allen at Large theme song, all the way to Cox on the Radio, is as you see it live is how it ends up on YouTube. I don't edit any of that stuff out. I just edit out this stuff here in the front. But Chris, while you're there, have you seen any movement on Sandbar's part? They put out a thing on uh, Facebook and Instagram saying they will be back soon with little waves and all this excitement. But I reached out to them and uh, they didn't reply. So I, I don't know what's happening there. And as far as the bend, they're open. We can come back any moment now. So... Let them know you want to go back. You want trivia back. Trivia does not require any social distancing violations. Everybody stays in their tables, stays six feet apart, or sets set themselves up away from other people. And I'm the one that goes around passing out stuff. I'm the one taking the risk. You don't take a risk. And I can guarantee you, I'm not sick. I've been checked. I'm fine. So is everybody else here. My wife just went to the doctor too. She's fine. Nothing. I guess before we start, I want to acknowledge one thing. We lost Eddie Van Halen this week. And um, if you know me, anybody who has talked to me a little bit, you know that I'm a huge fan of Van Halen, especially David Lee Ross Van Halen. So right behind me are five of the album covers from the Van Halen catalog that I acknowledge. I don't acknowledge Van Hagar. Van Hagar is bullshit to me. So those are five of them. The other ones will be on the raffle side. But I just want to acknowledge, you know, he was a, he was very important to me in my life, and uh, I was a little bit depressed about it. But then I uh, I basically listened to it, their music for since the day it was announced till today, pretty much straight. That's all I listened to. Riding bike in my car. Last night we did karaoke. All Van Halen in the background. All Van Halen songs between us, except for the other people who weren't there who were there doing other songs, but everything was Van Halen. And that got me in a better mood, because that music always made me happy. When I would get depressed when I was young, I would listen to Pink Floyd. And then when I was li listening to too much Pink Floyd, I would go to Van Halen to get in a better mood. So it didn't... I was more celebrating Eddie than I was mourning Eddie. Either way, he was, a, he was a very important to me, so that's why I, I want to acknowledge, you know, I put those album covers up. Eddie Van Halen passed away. May he rest in peace. And if you don't know, that's uh, Van Halen 1, Women and Children First, Fair Warning, Diver Down, and um, what's it called? The Different Kind of Truth, which is the, the last one. All right, it's Friday. It's after 7 o'clock. Time now for home, home. Home. Trivia. 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 If you don't already have a bucket to play tonight's game, go outside, get a bucket, bring it inside, and use that to play tonight's trivia game. Otherwise, use the little garbage can in your bathroom. Right now, let's get started with tonight's game. The first thing we're going to go over are the rules. It's Friday, you bastards. All right, as always, on this online edition of our game, you must be one person in order to play, one player minimum. But if you're near people you don't know, please stay six feet apart from each other. Don't get near people you don't know. Please wear a mask if you're outside. Please wear a mask if you're inside. I don't care what the rules say. I know we're allowed to not wear, not wear a mask. But if you're just walking around on the sidewalk and you don't know the people around you, wear a mask, stay six feet apart. I know I don't wear a mask when I ride bike because it's, I get winded. But as soon as I stop, I put my mask on, buy the lemonade, go in the stores, I keep the mask on as much as possible. You know, when I sit down and take a picture, I'm even, I wear the mask even then, just in case somebody approaches me. So wear a mask. It's important. I know that the uh, current occupant of the White House has a different opinion, but uh, that's what I'm telling you here. Stay six feet apart. Please wear a mask. All right. Grab three sheets of paper. Number them one through ten. And, you know, the drill. either make three papers or one big paper with three columns. We have 30 questions, 10 questions each round, three rounds. And if you have any funny team names you want me to read out, write it here in the comments and I'll read them out. Feel free to scream and shout the answers all you want because you're home. I'm home. 
Nobody can hear you except your neighbors, and it's okay if you scream and shout the answers right now. I forgot to get the scores from. Uh, I don't know, let me hold that, hold that up. All right, these are the scores. Your goal is to beat today. These are Monday's game. Monday's winners. These are the questions for Monday. So, so don't look up the answers, and please, if you know the answer, don't post the answer in the comments. You're playing with yourself, so you will only be cheating yourself. There's no reason to be. There's no reason to look it up because you're not going to win anything. I have no prizes to give you. If you want to win prizes, join me on Monday, Monday nights over at Bar Nancy. That's where you can go win prizes. Otherwise, here, there's no point in doing it. Just we're doing it for fun, so don't write down the answers. I mean, don't post the answers in the comments. I'm sorry. Questions are uh, round one are worth one point each. Question round two are worth two points each. Question round three are worth five points each. And again, we have no prizes, so first place gets nothing. Second place gets nothing except what you want to give yourself. But please take a picture of yourself while playing and tag at Trivia Miami. And if you happen to have a fly land on your head while you're taking that picture, that'll be even better. Because now we're going to welcome our newest team, the Fly Squatters. <laughs> that was the highlight of the whole thing, wasn't it? The, the fly. All right. And also, we're going to be pulling on our stubs and dancing in the Lucky SOB raffle, which in this online version is the Lucky Son of a Bernie raffle. My son will win all the raffle prizes. Here's our legal disclaimer. If you can read small and fast, you can read that thing. And it's gone. And again, even though, yes, I am getting more work now, little by little, getting here, there. I got a karaoke here. I got, I'm back at Seven Seas. I'm doing some work at the Globe. I'm doing Bar Nancy. I am waiting and waiting to be called in to maybe go back to the bend, hopefully soon. Otherwise, I don't know, but whatever. That's still up in the air. But if you can help me out, help me out. It's still not enough. You know, we, we've got a lot of time. We weren't making anything, and we got ourselves, dug ourselves a big hole. Plus, I got to keep these kids fed and educated, and now we have an extra cat we got to feed that's roaming around here somewhere. And if you can't, your other option is join me on Monday at Bar Nancy. We play trivia there every Monday night, just like you're used to, in person, from 8 to 10, and then I stick around afterwards, play some music for you guys until closing. We do the raffle there where you win the prizes, and we have and we have prizes for the winning teams, which at this point is, is still currently $50, $25 per second. So join me at Bar Nancy on Monday nights. Bar Nancy's winners this last week were in second place, and it seems to be a consistency right now, Mr. J and the Invisible Outlaws. And in first place, after being missing for a while, the Maroons. There's some question, questioning going on about that, but that's the team to beat right now. Like I said in what I was saying earlier, we're also I'm also doing karaoke again at Seven Seas Bar every Thursday and Saturday, so I'm there tomorrow night. I was there yesterday. If you want to join me for karaoke, 7 to 11. We're doing karaoke at Seven Seas Bar now, every starting at 7 o'clock until curfew. So if they lift the curfew tomorrow or move it to a different time, you know, we'll, we'll all still be there at 7 and I'll stay until closing. And like I mentioned earlier, next week I have a gig on, um, on Friday. So we're going to do this whole thing on Wednesday again. So if you can, join me Wednesday night. If not, I will do this just like if you're there. I'll record it, put it on YouTube, and you can go catch it on YouTube on Friday and get your friends together and pretend you're watching it live. It works either way. I'm just, you know, that's the, those are my options right now. What I'm asking you guys is, I got to do two one, I got to do two Fridays at the Globe in the next three weeks. I could do Wednesday, 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 or I could do Wednesday, Friday, Wednesday. So whatever you think is easiest, let me know. I'd rather, you know, I, I don't want to be inconsistent. I've been trying to keep this going as long as possible, and I want to do it at least once a week, every week, no matter which day. So if I do it each Wednesday, that works fine. If you want me to do Wednesday, then Friday, then Wednesday again, that works too. However, this is all depending on the band calling us back for Wednesday nights. If not, we'll do it Tuesdays. But the next three weeks are going to be busy. Then November, well, who knows what happens in November. Hopefully, we have something to celebrate on uh, Tuesday, November 3rd. But maybe I'll just come back just for that. So, if, as I mentioned, the reason I won't be um, here next Friday is I'll be at the Globe. They're having live acoustic music, and I'll be there DJing, and I'm providing karaoke for anyone who's interested. It's not a formal karaoke night. It's more like, you know, you're hanging around. Hey, I want to sing a song. We have it in karaoke. You can do that. 
Uh, you bring an acoustic guitar, you have a, a, either you play or you have a friend that plays with you, you can do that as well. Friday, next week, join me there. Now let's get started with round one of tonight's games. Time now to put your phones in the buckets. Phones in the buckets. Telefonos en la cubeta. What's your hurry, Chris? I wouldn't have started till 7.15 if we were at Sandbar anyway. It's either 15 minutes or 15 teams. Remember, that's the rule. I've only wasted 10 minutes here. Eight minutes according to the clock I'm on the side here. So. All right, round one. Question one. True or false? Rick Moranis was recently attacked in New York City. True or false? And when Sandbar comes back, they should come back as the Hungry Sailor. Reggae nights. All right, question two. Question two. Click. There we go. The Supreme Court of Ireland recently ruled that what fast food chain's bread was not real bread. And the Supreme Court of Ireland recently ruled that what fast food chain's bread was not real bread. Question three. What year did Google first release the Chrome web browser? A, 2006, B, 2008, or C, 2010? What year did Google first release the, web, the Chrome web browser? 2006, 2008, or 2010? This is the part where I would have told you, uh, make sure to match the letter with the year uh, if you're, in case your handwriting sucks. But since I'm not going to look at your paper, you do what you want. I know Alan isn't playing, but I'm still going to give him shit. By the way. Alright, question four. What cartoon character is named after the fictional Princess Dollars Diamond in a 1964 film? Okay, what cartoon character is named after the fictional Princess Dollars Diamond in a 1964 film? song that was horrible but you made a home inside my head I learned from you when I was little but I all right question five in the TV show the Simpsons who is Patty and Selma's favorite 1980s TV hero in the TV show The Simpsons, who is Selma and Patty's favorite 1980s TV hero? Question six. What do the thieves set out to steal in the movie Reservoir Dogs? A, diamonds, B, gold, or C, money, as in a bank robbery? And what do the thieves set out to steal in the movie Reservoir Dogs? Diamonds, gold, or money?
The movie came out in 1964. I don't know when the cartoon came out. I believe it was part. It was in the movie somehow, but I, I don't remember. Don't quote me on that. Don't use that against me. Question seven: What kind of animal is pictured on the wrapper of a Klondike bar? What kind of animal is pictured on the wrapper of a Klondike bar? Question eight. What fungus is used in making bread? What fungus is used in making bread? Question nine. How are Amy Schumer and Chuck Schumer related? A, their niece and uncle. B, their daughter and father. Or C, their cousins. How are Amy Schumer and Chuck Schumer related? Niece, uncle, daughter, father, or cousins? Sending me messages in the middle of this. Like, doesn't he know I'm on um, I'm, I'm live now on trivia? I should tell him to go live on trivia. Over. And finally, question 10, everybody's favorite category Florida, 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 Florida or not Florida. Or not Florida. Florida? I'm gonna read a news headline. You need to let me know if you think it's Florida or not Florida. The only two possible answers are Florida or not Florida. Here we go. Alleged sex offender was living in teen's bedroom for a month, and the parents of a 15 uh, sorry for a month the parents of a 15 year old girl found him hiding in her closet. Again, the alleged sex offender was living in a teen's bedroom for a month. The parents of a 15 year old girl found him hiding in her closet. Is that Florida or not Florida? Let me use these 35 seconds to tell my friend. I'm in the middle of this. That is the end of round one. Let's go over the questions one more time in case you missed any. Question one was true or false. Rick Moranis was recently attacked in New York City. Number two, the Supreme Court of Ireland recently ruled that what fast food chain's bread was not real bread. Question three, what year did Google first release the Chrome web browser? A, 2006, B, 2008, or C, 2010? Question four, what cartoon character is named after the fictional Princess Dallas Diamond from a 1964 film? The movie came out, and then the cartoon character came from the movie somehow. There is a movie from '64. Question five: In the TV show, in the TV show The Simpsons, who is Pat, Patty and Selma's favorite 1980s TV hero? And six: What do the thieves set out to steal in the movie Reservoir Dogs? A. Diamonds. B. Gold. Or C. Money. Question seven: What kind of animal is pictured in the wrapper of a Klondike bar? Question eight: What fungus is used in making bread? Question 9, how are Amy Schumer and Chuck Schumer related? A, uncle, niece, B, daughter, father, or C, cousins? 
In Florida or not Florida, the headline reads, alleged sex offender was living in teen's bedroom for a month. The parents of a 15-year-old girl found him hiding in her closet. All right, please check your own answer sheet. See if these are the answers you want to stick with. Again, if there's any little bit you can send me, anything helps. I understand I've been working more, but, you know, we uh, we still got to dig ourselves out of the hole that we've been in for the last seven months. So if you can help me out, that'll be cool. Those are my, that's my Venmo. That's my Cash App. Now let's switch to a screen over to our raffle screen, which is right here. My daughter is right there. As I mentioned, there's another Van Halen album cover behind her. There's Van Halen 2. There is the... Um, the live album, live from the Tokyo Dome. And right down there with Baby Yoda is the 1984 album, all rest in peace, Eddie Van Halen. We put all the album covers around. Right now, let's get started with tonight's raffle. Where's this thing? All right, it's time to pull out your stubs. It's raffle time. I'll pull a number out of this bucket, and any number I pull out, my son wins. My son will win all the prizes. I'm going to pull out the first number, and he's going to win whatever my daughter hands him, and hopefully there will be no violence in this holding. Let me see which number it is. 589, 589. Dance. What time is it? What time? All right, he won. You didn't say it with me. You lucky son of a Bernie. All right, next one out. Five seven zero, five seven zero. Dance. All right, he won. You didn't say with me. You lucky son of Bernie. And finally, everybody's favorite prize: one free beer, one free beer. But he can't drink beer because he's only twelve years old. He can only have an iron beer. Going out to the following number. You realize if this game keeps going after January, we're going to have to change that whole line because he'll be 13. All right, 594, 594. Dance. All right, he won. You didn't say with me. You lucky son of a Bernie. And that includes a lucky son of a Bernie raffle for this round. He'll be back after round two and three. Try not to get copyright strikes for that song. All right, let's go over the answers from round one. Question one was true or false. Rick Moranis was recently attacked in New York City. That is true. The guy was retired and hiding, and he comes out for a commercial, and now they beat the shit out of him in New York. He should go back to hiding. That was what I would do. Question two, the Supreme Court of Ireland recently ruled that what fast food chain's bread was not real bread? It was Subway. And Subway's like, oh, is that the most controversial thing you can think of right now? Yeah, yeah, we'll take that. That's fine. Not real bread, sure. Question three, what year did Google first release the Chrome web browser? 2008. And four, what cartoon character is named after the fictional Princess Dallas Diamond from a 1964 film? The Pink Panther. For five, in the TV show The Simpsons, who is Patty and Selma's favorite 1980s TV hero? MacGyver. They even kidnapped him at one point. Question six, what do the thieves set out to steal in the movie Reservoir Dogs? Diamonds. They're stealing diamonds. Question seven, what kind of animal is pictured on the wrapper of a Klondike bar? It's a polar bear. Question eight, what fungus is used in making bread? Yeast. And I'm not sure, if you put too much sugar in Ireland, they will declare it not real bread. So make sure when you make your own bread, you don't put too much sugar. Question nine, how, how are Amy Schumer and Chuck Schumer related? They are cousins. And Florida or not Florida, the headline reads, alleged sex offender was living in teen's, be in teen's bedroom for a month. The parents of a 15-year-old girl found them hiding in her closet. Now, before I show you the picture, and then reveal the answer. If you ever wanted to look up sex offender in the dictionary and thought, well, what picture would go great next to this? You would probably think of this guy. Florida's the answer. But tell me that's not the... I, the definition of sex offender. He's got the stash. He's got the weird tan. Well, I got the weird tan too. Let's see. Look, uh, this side. But I'm not red. I'm brown. Brown and white. Whatever two tone I got going on now. But that guy is the definition 
of a sex offender if I was to put it in the dictionary or picture to go with it. All right, these questions are one point each, so whatever you got right, you know, put it up in the scores here so we can figure that out. And post your scores in the comments and argue amongst yourselves. Remember, Monday you can play in person. You don't have to do it online. You can join me Monday nights at Bar Nancy. We're doing the same game you know over there. We've been doing it there. We have a lot of pe we have people who go, but we need more people to show up. So if you can join us Monday nights at Bar Nancy, if you're into karaoke, I'm at back at Seven Seas every Thursday and Saturday. We're starting at 7 now because of the curfew, but as soon as the curfew gets moved, we'll move the times, or at least if they move it at the last minute, we'll start at 7 in that first night and go until the curfew starts. But right now, we're, we're set up for 7 to 11. Also, a reminder that next week, we were going to do this game, this online game, on Wednesday instead of Friday, because on Friday, I will be at the Globe in Coral Gables for live acoustic music with DJ and karaoke. Join me at the Globe on on Friday, if you don't, if you know, if you miss doing it this year, or you can watch the game, which I will post from YouTube after Wednesday. You can get it on YouTube and pretend you're watching it live. All right, I'm going to take a quick commercial break, and I'll be back in two minutes. I love this song. What station is that? Coast ninety-seven point three FM. Great song. What station is that? It's Coast ninety-seven point three FM. I love this song. Me too. What station is that? Ever wonder what radio station you're listening to? For the most music throughout your workday, listen to South Florida's Coast 97.3 FM. The best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today with less talk. Grand Prix's new track. Grand Prix is bigger, longer, and faster. Feel the thrill of the hairpin turns. Then speed down the long straightaways. Grand Prix. Race your friends in the true spirit of Grand Prix competition racing. Feel the roar of the engines as you race the big challenge on Grand Prix Racerama. Open seven days and nights. Take I-95 or exit 12 on the turnpike. Grand Prix on 441 just south of State Road 84 in Fort Lauderdale. County Youth Fair and Exposition. Be there. Imagine the perfect video store. It would have a great selection, right? Right. Over 10,000 videos. Three evening rentals, so no rush, no hassle. Fast checkout. 24-hour quick drop return. Open late every night. Well, the perfect video store... Welcome to Blockbuster Video. ...is popping up all over the country. There's one near you. And we're back. All right, Flip is telling. Oh, first of all, Flip in the house. Flip is telling me that the curfew has been moved to twelve. At least they're not enforcing it until twelve. But that only, from what I read, was in the city of Miami. Now that only affects Bar Nancy. So that's up to them what they want to do. Maybe we'll move the times for that. But as far as I know, Monday we're still doing 8 to 10. I'll just stay longer after. And then we'll ne the week after we'll figure it out. Uh, most of these gigs are in unincorporated Dadewood Falls under county rule. The Globe is in Coral Gables. I'm not sure what they're doing. I know Miami Beach is going to do the same thing as the city of Miami. Because I saw um, a bar over there is promoting a midnight closing tonight. So... That's usually how this all trickles down. Like, everybody just said, disobeys the mayor of the county, jump in Jiminy Jimenez, the idiot in charge of the county, and then they and then he falls in line to pretend that he's the big shot. He did it. But let's get started with round two. It's time again to put your phones in the buckets, phones in the buckets, telefonos en la cubeta. Phones in the buckets, everybody. Round two. Question one. What came out first, duets or Shallow Howl, both with Gwyneth Paltrow? What came out first?
Nope, nothing's changed here from what I see. All right, question two. Which NBA player is going to win an NBA Finals ring regardless of who wins the Finals? And which NBA player is going to win an NBA Finals ring regardless of who wins the Finals? Flip, let me know if you're in town or not. Like, put it in the comments if you're in town or not this week. Because I need you to do me a favor if you are. Or at least get your people to do it. Question three. Which continent would you find the Amur River in? Which continent would you find the Amur River in? Question four is always our anal bum cover. Sorry, an album cover. Whose 2013 album is this the cover for? Just the name of the artist, not the name of the album. Whose 2013 album is that the cover for? Well, Flip's not in town. But here's the favor I'll ask any of you. Since we're doing the online game on Wednesday this week, the coming week, we're going to do it at 7, as always. If you happen to be in the area and want to enjoy some happy hour drinks, go to the Bend, bring a laptop, bring your friends together, and play live with me from the Bend. But make sure, while you're there, you let them know, hey, since Bernie's not here, we brought Bernie with us on the laptop. So maybe that will inspire them to bring me back. Anything could help. All right, question five. Which singer was known as the Walrus of Love? Which singer was known as the Walrus of Love? All right, question six is always our movie clip. So I'll play a clip from a movie that's released in 2004. If you know what it is, write it down. I'll play once with just the sound and once with the words up on the screen. Listen closely. Did you have an awesome time? Did you drink awesome shooters and listen to awesome music and then just sit around and soak up each other's awesomeness? One more time. Did you have an awesome time? Did you drink awesome shooters and listen to awesome music and then just sit around and soak up each other's awesomeness? What movie is that from? Write it down. It's modern cars, it's about success. I know life gonna be a constant test. I don't got the one that know me best. I applaud the ones that fight to death. Keep pushing, I'ma see it through till we prevail. Only way to make it is to try and fail. To try again, it's for giving up that ship itself. Might as well get it done and get a red Chevelle. Plus. All right, question seven. A panatella is a type of what? A panatella is a type of what? This is based on the definition of the word. 
in the English language. Press the button before saying it. Post Cologne in the house. Post Cologne didn't show up for karaoke yesterday, even though he said he was. And that means all of us lost the bet. I had 1040. All right, question eight. Robert Duvall, Marlon Brando, and Harrison Ford all appeared in what movie? Robert Duvall, Marlon Brando, and Harrison Ford all appeared in what movie? The next question is what I will call a Chris question. Since he accused me of having an Allen question in the first round. Which, yeah, it's true. That was an Allen question. The next one couldn't be more of a Chris question if you had a catalog of questions that you would ask Chris. Put away like I do. And drag it out every so often. So, it is a general, a general trivia question, but I'm just saying. This is one Chris will enjoy. On Cheers, what was the name of the upscale seafood restaurant located directly above Cheers? On Cheers, what was the name of the upscale seafood restaurant located directly above Cheers? I see uh, Wombat's in the house. Wombat's here. Post Cologne's also watching this, Miguel. I told him I had 1040, you had 1030, Sabinga had 1020, and all of us lost. Because he didn't show up yesterday. Even though he promised he would. And finally, question 10, last question in this round. Lake Champlain is located in which two U.S. states? Lake Champlain is located in which two U.S. states? That is the end of round two. Let's go over the questions one more time in case you missed any. Question was, what came out first, duets or shallow how? Both with Gwyneth Paltrow. Question two, which NBA player is going to win an NBA Finals ring regardless of who wins the finals? Question three, which continent would you find the Amour River in? Anal Bump Cover, whose 2013 album is this the cover for? Just the name of the artist, not the name of the album. Question five, which singer was known as the Walrus of Love? Movie clip from 2004. Did you have an awesome time? Did you drink awesome shooters and listen to awesome music and then just sit around and soak up each other's awesomeness? What movie is that from? Question seven. By definition in the English dictionary, a panatella is a type of what? Question eight. Robert Duvall, Marilyn Brando, and Harrison Ford all appeared in what movie? Question 9, on Cheers, what was the name of the upscale seafood restaurant located directly above Cheers? And question 10, Lake Champlain is located in which two U.S. states? All right, please check your own answer sheet, see if these are the answers you want to stick with. Again, any little bit helps. That's my Venmo, that's my Cash App. Throw a little bit my way, help me out. You got to keep these kids fed and entertained and educated. You don't want my children to end up uneducated and end up becoming running the country at some day. 
So let's uh, now move over to the raffle screen. My daughter is there waiting to give out prizes. My son is waiting to win those prizes. And my wife just ran outside and closed the door so we wouldn't see her. So let's get started with tonight's raffle. All right, it's time to pull out your stubs. It's raffle time. I'm pulling number out of this bucket, and any number I pull out, my son wins. My son will win all the prizes. I'm going to pull out the first number. Oh, ticket fell out of my hand. I guess the one that I dropped on the floor. Goes to 576, 576. Dance. All right, he won. You didn't. Say with me. You lucky son of a Bernie. All right, next one out. Five nine two, five nine two, dance. No stabbing. All right, he won. You didn't say with me. You lucky son of a Bernie. Wait for the good part. That's at Barnancy, which will be out on Monday. All right, finally, everybody's favorite prize, one free beer. One free beer, but he can't drink beer because he's 12. He's getting an iron beer. Going out to the following number. I don't know why I shake it. It's not like a, different people are winning these prizes. 590, 590. Dance. All right, he won. He didn't say with me. You lucky son of a Bernie. Not good, the lucky son of a Bernie raffle this round. He'll be back after round three. All right, that's another copyright strike song, so we got to get out of there fast. All right, let's go over the answers from round two. Question one was, what came out first, duets or Shallow Howl? Both were going to Paltrow? It was duets, which is a karaoke movie. The movie is about karaoke, and if you like karaoke, join me at Seven Seas Bar every Thursday and Saturday. I'll be there Thursdays and Saturdays Starting at 7, unless they move, unless Flip is right, and if the curfew is at 12, then we'll start the show at 8. Either way, I'll be there till, till whatever the curfew is. Question 2, which NBA player is going to win the, an NBA Finals ring regardless of who wins? Dion Waiters. There's a whole explanation. And if you want to contact Miguel Garcia, and he'll explain it to you. I don't know all the details. Question 3, which continent would you find the Amur River in? In Asia. Ain't no bum cover. Whose 2013 album is this the cover for? That is ASAP Rocky. Question five: Which singer was known as the Walrus of Love? Barry White. Movie clip from 2004. Did you have an awesome time? Did you drink awesome shooters and listen to awesome music and then just sit around and soak up each other's awesomeness? Mean Girls. For seven, a Panatella is a type of what? It is a type of cigar. It's a real skinny cigar. Question eight. Robert Duvall, Marlon Brando, and Harrison Ford all appeared in what movie? In Apocalypse Now. The Hawa. The Hawa. That's uh, Elmer Fudd in uh, Apocalypse Now, if you don't know the impression. Question nine. On Cheers, what was the name of the upscale seafood restaurant located directly above Cheers? It was Melville's. They have fine seafood right up there. And the only time we ever saw Vera was when she walked down the steps just slightly. We saw her legs, and then Norm went up the stairs to, ca to catch up with her, and they went up the stairs together. The only time they ever showed Vera was there. We used to believe on our sandbar that Linda didn't exist either for a long time until she showed up. Now we know Linda exists, and our thoughts and prayers are with her because she still has to do with Alan. We'll get to that at the end of the game. And question 10. Lake Champlain is located in which two U.S. states? In New York and Vermont. All right, these questions are worth two points each, so whatever you got right times two, add that to your previous score, and that gives you your running total at this point. Post that score here in the comments, and we'll see who has the higher score at the end. Remember, Monday you can play in person and for prizes at Bar Nancy. Join me Monday nights over at Bar Nancy. You play in person, you win the prizes, you win the raffles. Not me, not my son. You guys win. Come play in person at Bar Nancy every Monday night. As I mentioned before, karaoke at Seven Seas Bar. 
Next week, no trivia on Friday here online. We're going to do it on Wednesday. Join me Wednesday. And if you want to join me and make it feel like you're at the bar, take your laptop, go to the bend, open it up, make sure they see you playing trivia, and make sure you tell them that you're playing trivia with me online at the bend. Go over there and play online with me here. I'm not trying to harass them, but it's just, you know, something we got to do. And the reason I won't be here on Friday next week is I'll be at the Globe for live acoustic music with DJ and karaoke. If you are, if you're into any of that, or if you want to, if you have an acoustic band or want to try a couple songs, come join me over there. You can do that, or you can just join me for karaoke. All right, I'm going to take a quick commercial break, and I'll be back in about two minutes. If you're hungry and in the mood for something extraordinary, look for this symbol. And this telephone is the fastest way to Franco's original Italian pizza day or night. If you live anywhere from Pompano to Hialeah, you can treat yourself to the best in authentic Italian dishes. Franco specializes in dishes from Adipasto to Vio Francesa, all at reasonable prices. This symbol of excellence is in Pompano, Fort Lauderdale, North Miami Beach, North Miami, and Hialeah. Franco's the king of pizza with home delivery day or night. 97 GTR, continuous rock and roll with Herman and McBean mornings. No more pop scratches and ugly black buildup for these rock and roll animals. Whoa, 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 whoa. 97 GTR, all compact disc rock and roll. Like ZZ Top. Bruce Springsteen. The Rolling Stones. Herman and McBean mornings on 97 GTR, continuous rock and roll. Se le paró el carro. ¿Y eso cómo fue? No sé. Yo le había echado culan, pero se calentó. Mira, lo voy a ayudar, porque yo tengo un tremendo culan. Amali. La próxima vez échele a Amali. Este sí es un culan de calidad superior. Porque todos los culan no son iguales, ¿sabes? Amali es mejor de lo que tiene que ser. Ah, pero oiga, ¿usted no es irichaco? Sí, y de culan. Yo sí sé. Exija a Amali. Tremendo culan. <risa> Why settle for some of it when you can get all of it? Get it all, get it all, get to Zare and get it all. It's got to be a knockout, so I got to Zare. It's got to last. It's got to have a name I know. So we got to Zare. Get it all, get it all. It's got to be a real value. Get to Zare and get it all. Exciting fashions, famous brands, honest quality, genuine value. Get to Zare and get it all. In Miami. Sayama, Saide. And we're back. All right, Chris, we're both wrong. There's also the actual, her actual appearance was she had a pie in her face, too. They didn't show her face, but she had a pie in her face. Then there's the whole steps issue, which I'll look up later, which steps it was. I'm pretty sure it was the Melville steps, but it could have been the other steps. Either way. The point being, it's still called Melville's, which was the whole core of the question. It has nothing to do with what we were asking her. All right, let's get started with round three. It's time again to put your phones in the buckets, phones in the buckets, telefonos, and la cubeta. Round three, question one. First published in 1842, The Mask of Red Death is a short story by which American writer? Again, first published in 1842, The Mask of Red Death is a short story by which American writer? Question two. What 1982 American science fiction horror film was directed by John Carpenter and starred Kurt Russell? Okay, what 1982 American science fiction horror film was directed by John Carpenter and starred Kurt Russell?
All right, question three. It's time now to name a celebrity. I'm going to put a picture of a celebrity up there. If you know who it is, write down their real name, not a character name, not a description. We've seen them. Name, name, name this, this celebrity. 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 I need her real name, not a character name, not a description. Where you seen her? All right, question four. Leukophobia is the fear of what? Leukophobia is the fear of what? All right, question five is always R. Word! Jumbo, jumbo. Five on the top, eight on the bottom. There's our E C L O S E R I S D U M B. It's an actor, female. E closer is dumb. Figure it out. All right, hopefully you've either figured this out or wrote this information down on your paper somewhere so you can keep working on it. I am moving on to question six. Which non-coastal U.S. state has the seagull as its official state bird? Which non-coastal U.S. state has the seagull as its official state bird? All right, next one is what's considered what should be a round one question for Josh. Josh is one of the Grove Boys. So this is a question that's easy to him. Easy to some pe most people. And remember, this is the game I use at Barnanzi. Not easy to, not easy for everybody. So question seven. Which element appears fifth on the periodic table? Which element appears fifth on the periodic table? Say goodbye. 
I haven't noticed Danny's not here, right? I haven't seen Danny. Danny, if you're there, wave or something. All right, question eight. Here's a Danny. I mean, here's a Danny question. Orangistad is the capital of what country? Orangistad is the capital of what country? Question nine. Besides Michael, what are the first names of the five other Jackson brothers in the Jackson Five or the Jacksons? Besides Michael, what are the first names of the five other Jackson brothers in the Jackson Five or Jacksons? There is a total of six of them while we're in the group. Michael being one. There's five others. Two you're going to know right off the bat. One teased him a lot, and the other one got him a tissue. Just figure that out. Then just figure out the others. When it's a five part question, I try to go to the whole minute for the between questions. All right, question 10, last question of tonight's game something of local history, news, or facts. Which local city takes its name from developer Al Casco and his wife? What local city takes its name from developer Al Casco and his wife? That is the end of round three. Let's go over the questions one more time in case you missed any. Question one was first published in 1842. The Mask of Red Death is a short story by which American writer? Question two. What 1982 American science fiction horror film was directed by John Carpenter and starred Kurt Russell? So you name this celebrity. Any her real name, not a character name, not a description where you've seen her. Question four. Leucophobia is the fear of what? We're jumble. We got five in the top, eight on the bottom. Those are the letters. It's an actor, female, or actress. E, closer is dumb. Question six. Which non-coastal U.S. state has the seagull as its official state bird? Question seven. Which element appears fifth on the periodic table? Question eight. Orangistad is the capital of what country? Question nine. Besides Michael, what are the first names of the five other Jackson brothers in the Jackson 5 slash Jacksons? And local history news or facts, which local city takes its name from developer Al Casco and his wife? All right, please check your own answer sheet. See if these are the answers you want to stick with. Again, if any little bit helps, you want to hook it up, hook it up. If not, just come see me on Monday. And I'm going to press the raffle camera, but apparently my raffle people are, are not in place yet. Now my daughter is in place. Now I can put her camera on. And let's get started with our third round and final raffle. All right, it's time to pull out your subs. It's raffle time. I'm on phone number of this bucket, and any number I pull out, my son wins. My son will win all the prizes. My daughter's up there waiting to give it to him, and here we go. Five nine three, five nine three, dance. All right, he won. You didn't say with me. You lucky son of a bernie. 
Next one out. Five, six, eight. Five, six, eight. Dance. All right, he won. You didn't say with me. You lucky son of a brain. And finally, everybody's favorite prize, one free beer. One free beer, but he can't have beer. He can only have iron beer. Going out to the following number. 588, 588. Dance. All right, he won. You didn't say with me. You lucky son of a brain. That includes... Our lucky son of Bernie Raffle for tonight's game. Now, while I have your attention, let's go on to our raffle. I mean, our sorry, our chug off from a classic chug off from the past. I'm going to play a chug off from the past since you guys like to leave after I give you the answers. Here is a classic chug off from the past. We come out for tonight's tiebreaker chug off right over there at the bar. Go stand over there, each one of you on each side. Face this way or sideways for each other. When I say go, you can grab those beers. Look this way where I see you in the camera. When I say go, you need to chuck those beers as fast as you can. Grab your beer. Grab your beer. When I say go, you need to chuck those beers as fast as you can without spilling. The first one to put the empty cup on the bar wins. One, two, go! They're both spilling. As you see, I picked one from the bend just to remind everybody that we should be back on Wednesdays at some point if they make the decision to bring us back. So if you want to help me out, join, go over there and play Wednesday in person over there while I play this game online. All right, let's uh, click here. Let's go over the answers from round three. Question one was, first published in 1842, The Mask of Red Death is a short story by which American writer? Edgar Allan Poe. To what 1982 American science fiction horror film was directed by John Carpenter and stars John, uh, starts Kurt Russell? The Thing. To name this celebrity, that is Nev Campbell. Before leukophobia is the fear of what? The fear of the color white. And you know what's white? That guy. Obviously, this is a game from Monday. I don't have a picture of the fly on his head. I would have put that there had I written this game after the debate. But whatever. We're Jumbo. Five on the top, eight on the bottom. Those are the letters. It is Kobe Smolders. She is from How I Met Your Mother, and she's, on, she's one of the Avengers. She's part of the Avengers. Don't to ask me again who she is. Which non-coastal U.S. state has the seagull as its official state bird? Well, I believe they should change it now to the housefly. But it is Utah where the debate took place. Question 7. Which element appears fifth on the periodic table? Boron. Not to be confused with Moron, who was representing the Republican Party at the debate on Wednesday. Question 8. Orange is tied at the capital of what country? Aruba. All right. Besides Michael, what are the first names of the first of the five other Jackson brothers in the Jackson Five slash Jacksons? They are Jackie. Everybody forgets Jackie. Tito, Tito, get a tissue. Jermaine, Jermaine, stop teasing. Marlon, nobody remembers Marlon. Randy, that's five, right? And that's all of them. Nobody remembers Jackie, Marlon, or Randy. Everybody remembers Tito and Jermaine. All right, which local city takes its name from developer Al Casco and his wife? Doral. It's named Doris and Alfred. Doral. All right, these are questions are five points each, so whatever you got right times five, add that to your previous score. That will give you your total for tonight's game. And then in a little bit after the commercials, I'll come back and give you the scores from Monday to see if you could have won if you had been there on Monday. And you should be there next Monday if you can so you can win the prizes. So like I said, join me Mondays at Bar Nancy. We have game in person there. Join me every Monday night starting at 8 o'clock. Karaoke at 7 Cs. This online game will be Wednesday. You can join me here again, Facebook at Trivia Miami. All that stuff you see up there, just like you're here now, you can be here on Wednesday. 
but a few of you, if you're up north, take your laptop, go to the bend, play in there, and make sure they know you're playing trivia online with me. If you're not busy on Friday and want to join me, you can join me over at the Globe. All right, I'm going to be right back in a bit. I'm going to take a quick commercial break, and I'll be back in a, in a minute or two. Fellas, look here. Seagulls, golden wine cooler. Seagulls, golden wine cooler. It's wet and it's dry. Golden wine cooler. My, 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 my. Golden wine cooler. Me and the boys. Love, love, love all the time. Golden wine cooler. It's wet and it's dry. Golden wine cooler. You know why I come to Lum's Good Buddy? They grill the steaks just perfect. And the fish fry dinner is so tender and delicious. I love the juicy roast beef sandwich piled high with that thinly sliced roast beef. I like it when Mommy and Daddy take me to Lum's. The burgers are great. <laughs> you and your kids get a better choice when you choose Lum's. You get a choice. You get a better choice when you choose Lum's. Compact disc sale of the year. Thousands of titles for only $8.99. All types of music. Rock, country, soul, jazz, classical, vocal, big band, pop, hundreds of artists. Something for everyone. CDs for only $8.99. Come into Peaches now while the best selection's available. All right, and we're back. All right, as far as I'm concerned, all of you are winners, regardless of what your scores are, but I'm sure you're curious to know. Second place at Barnancy this last Monday with this exact game, with these exact questions, went to Mr. J and the Invisible Outlaws, and he got second place and a $25 bar tab with 38 points. So if you have 38 or above, you could have gotten second place. First place, which went to the Maroons, with uh, 49 points, they got a $50 bar tab. So that's what you walked away from if you didn't, uh, if you scored anything close or above that. Remember, you can follow us on uh, Trivia Mammy on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Search for Trivia Mammy on YouTube. You can watch this entire game all over again. And again, we'll be on Wednesday next week. So I'm going to record it. And if you want to wait till Friday, just go on YouTube, look up the latest video, and you can play this game, play Wednesday's game on Friday from your house. But I'll do it live on Wednesday record it, upload it, and it will be there for you on Friday. As always, thoughts and prayers to Linda, who has to tolerate Alan. That's the latest picture Alan posted on Facebook, because apparently he has no mirrors to see what he's posting, or so nobody told him, hey, don't put that picture, you look horrible. And now I see why the kilt no longer fits him. Well, in the meanwhile, while we're still waiting on the bend, we still have one thing we gotta say about the bend, which is... Fuck Hector! <laughs> And everybody should get together at the Bend on Wednesday, even though I'm not there. Play online and just get together and start chanting because he should be nearby or around. If he's there right now, go over there right now before they close and say... And remember... So if you can help me out, help me out. That's cool. If you can't, that's fine. Remember, Monday I'll be at Barnancy. Thursdays and Saturdays doing karaoke at Seven Seas. Next Friday I'll be at the Globe. But next Wednesday we will do our online game. I'm going to let Cox on the Radio sign us off. Thanks, for everybody, for joining us. Good night, and have a good weekend. Have yourself a real nice day. And if you want to smile some, listen to Power 96.